what we do at the, at the Boston Foundation, and I'm delighted to say that um, looking at you all, you all look a lot like Boston residents. You know, I traveled here and I was thinking, you know, it's going to feel different, and the answer is no. It, it feels very much like the kinds of meetings and the kind of community that we've been working with for a long time in order to use indicators and data to drive community change. We spent a, a couple of years um, coming up with the measures that we wanted to use. Maybe you could, I'm sorry, um, make that go. Try. Thank you. Um, All right. You know, we asked ourselves, the, in a sense, the same question. Um, what do we value? What do we want to measure? Where do we want to be going as a community? And how would we know we were getting there? Um, those are all very different questions. We can talk about what we want to be and how we want our community to be in the future, but without data or measures, we can't really tell whether we're making progress or not. You are very fortunate to have a city stat project here so that your, um, your city government can share with you the measures they are tracking internally. But there are going to be some things that the city can't do by itself. Where you all say, what, where we want to be in the future is we want all of our third graders reading at grade level. That may require some work on the part of parents, that may require some work on the part of people involved in public health at the state level. You know, the whole community may need to come together in order to achieve that goal. So we, it's not up to the city by itself. For those kinds of measures, you need something more to turn the data that the city and others are collecting into real impact. And in that process, indicators can play a role. And if you could switch. Um, our project has three goals, to democratize access to data and information so that everyone has access to the same facts, in a sense, which really does help to level the playing field when you're talking about policy or where, where we want to go, how we measure change. To foster informed public discourse, and this today, this meeting today is a big part of that. And then to track progress on shared civic goals once you all decide how you want your community to be and what the measures of, of success would, would look like. Um, so what are indicators? Indicators are measures, just data points, that are selected because they have special meaning for you. And that's what you are going to be talking about today. What are the special data points or the special measures that you all really care about that, that would tell you that your community or your city or your family are really um, making the kind of progress that you have identified as your goal. They also, so indicators can reflect and express community values, interests, and goals. They can create common ground for dialogue and discourse. They provide a shared container for community information, <coughs> research, and knowledge. Because just think, you know, each one of us has a certain amount of smarts, but none of us has the, the kind of brain power that you all do together in this room. So by putting together data and indicators that allow you to sort of look at your community across its breadth and then think about it together, it's a way for you to pool your, in a sense, your, your, the power of both thinking and action and really progress much more quickly. And finally, it's a way to foster collaborative strategies and to track progress. So we have a long time frame, the year 2030. Why? Because sometimes, you know, one mayor comes into office and loves city stat, and the next one decides, you know what, that was that mayor's project. I don't want anything <laughs> to do with it. So, you know, by having a long time frame, you're sort of inoculating yourselves from those sort of political ups and downs that can happen, and you can focus on your goals. Not anybody else's, not a political time frame, but a community time frame. So we have a long-term vision. I, I just would recommend that. Maybe it doesn't have to be 2030, it could be 2010, but something a little bit beyond a political time frame. And then the last slide. Um, 
We have 10 sectors that we all selected. You may end up with something very different, but I just wanted to share what those are. Civic vitality, that includes things like voter participation and um, race relations, cultural life in the arts, the economy, education, the environment, health, housing, public safety, technology, and transportation. It's very comprehensive. But then we have what we call cross cuts across those 10 sectors so that we can pull out data from any of those 10 sectors by our neighborhoods, data about our neighborhoods, children and youth across the sectors, race and ethnicity, including issues of disparity, sustainability, and, and sort of economic competitiveness. So I'm not recommending that to you, I'm just sharing what we came up with after a lot of meetings just like this. 